hi guys welcome back so for today's video i have an unboxing for you guys and i'm very very excited for this one because this is a bag if you've been watching my channel you would have noticed i have mentioned a bunch of times and i'm sure you already see it in the thumbnail it is the terry crossbody terry shoulder terry shoulder bag i put off getting this bag for a while because this particular colorway hardly goes on sale like it never goes on sale the only reason i bought it now is because there was a site-wide 15 percent off sale on the coach outlet over um during boxing day and so i took the opportunity because since it was site-wide it affected everything even the styles and colors that never go on sale so i decided to take a chance and get it then i also bought it through Rakuten, which was on 10 percent cash back for coach outlet canada as well so i saved at least 25 percent on this deal so let's get right into the unboxing now the problem i have with buying um via the website is that it takes it forever to get to me this was not my last purchase of 2022 and it is not my first purchase of 2023 either because it was a gift so it was a birthday gift um i was gifted money for my birthday and i decided to put that money towards um buying this bag so so yes i ordered it on the 26th and today is the 6th of january so anyway while i have spent the last two weeks waiting for this bag to get here i've done some serious thinking a new handbag style popped up at coach outlet so the painting hobo and if you haven't watched my last uh video i talked about my wish list for the year and how i don't want to purchase more than seven bags this year now this was a gift so i'm considering actually Exchanging this for the painting hobo. It all depends on how I feel when I unbox it I'm pretty sure some of you have probably already seen this in store before <laughs> But I have not seen it physically yet. I've only seen it online. Oh, she's a beauty This oh my gosh, look at that colorway. So so beautiful For some reason I love black and brown together so much. I've decided that brown is my color palette for the year brown is my neutral so all things brown screens ivories beautifully wrapped as well wow look at how pretty that is she is gorgeous this is the terry shoulder bag in signature canvas khaki signature canvas and black leather wow this is pretty this is everything i thought it was going to be and now i'm conflicted again okay so let me show you the bag the ins and outs and then i'll i'll tell you guys my thought process and we can think about this together so just take off all the wrapping i mean i'm so sad to take off all the wrapping because it was really really well wrapped okay so here she is in all her glory the coach terry shoulder bag now this bag retailed for um 229 canadian dollars comparable value 430 canadian dollars but of course they never sell at that price so it was actually priced at 229 canadian dollars and with the discounts i ended up purchasing it for about 170 dollars plus 10 percent cash back from racketing and my god while i was unwrapping this bag i just i'm like yes this is why this is why i purchased this bag this is why i wanted this bag like she's everything that I thought it was going to be, that I knew it was going to be, that I wanted. It's just so beautiful and so well made. So let me show you guys up close. This is the Khaki Signature Canvas with that beautiful Coach New York logo there. And then on the sides, you have the nice smooth black leather all the way down the bottom. It's not one strip, it has some stitching there and there and then around to the other side as well i love how it tapers up and then the hardware is the shiny gold it's not real gold of course but shiny gold colored hardware that coach outlet does most of the time and i love that chain and um leather strap so this is the short or shoulder strap so beautiful look at that just look at how beautiful that is anyway so beautiful shoulder strap i love the fact that it has a leather break um some of the versions the other colorways are a full leather shoulder strap i love this one particularly because it is a chain with leather break i absolutely love that feature i think it is one little feature that elevates a bag a whole lot more and it is removable you can take it off because it has the clips there and this is what it is this is what it looks like it does also have 
the long shoulder crossbody strap with adjustments on there one two three four five six seven holes i have it currently on the short setting let me see if i can show you guys what it looks like i am five five for reference hits me above my hips uh okay so right at the beginning of my hips on the shortest setting so that's what it looks like i love that that is so beautiful although i really do not have any intention of wearing this crossbody if i wanted a crossbody bag i have lots of other bags for that purpose this if i keep it is going to be a shoulder bag that's how i want to use it that's how i plan to wear it mostly as a shoulder carry bag so this is the back it's just plain nice signature canvas there no hardware on the back at all and then the top has the zipper and i love how the zipper is black cloth and then the light gold colored uh, zipper and then this is the zipper pull with the black tab there absolutely love that and then you have the um hang tag there that says coach with the ball chain another thing i loved when i was unwrapping it that i saw was this pull tab on the other end of the zipper it's so thick and nice there you go and it has the horse and carriage on there it has coach on the other side as well so it says coach there very very beautiful i love that i particularly love that feature and then this is the zipper so open that and get all the stuff in like this bag i don't think i probably haven't bought a coach out there bag in a while because i'm really impressed with this bag how it was packed how it's made like all the stitches are in it's piped so there's no glazing or anything so it's piped in leather all around the strap does have black glazing but everything is really neat i cannot fault them on anything i haven't found anything to fault them on yet and then there's a story patch at the back the interior is cloth there's one slip pocket at the back with the care card and then on the other side are two uh slip pockets for credit cards so i seriously do not like the micro suede interior that they use at the coach outlet so i'm very happy this it makes this bag a lot more high end the fact that they've used a black cloth interior so on, honestly this bag if you change the hardware on it to retail hardware they could probably sell it as a retail bag you know as a coach boutique bag what was i thinking not wanting this bag i mean i still wanted it i just i was just trying to be financially responsible i would wanted it for a long time and so it was only a matter of time and when i was gifted money for my birthday i thought what better birthday present than to buy something that i've been wanting for a while but i couldn't get for myself so i put it towards this now before this arrived in the two weeks that i was waiting for it to arrive coach outlet released a new bag called the Peyton hobo and i just loved the shape of the bag i loved the colors that it was released in particularly the chalk and i don't have any chalk shoulder bag i have a chalk camera bag i have a chalk carry-up but not a chalk shoulder bag or baguette or hobo and so i love that bag in chalk and i also love it in khaki light khaki signature and the pink such a unique combination those two colorways have my heart and I did not want to spend money or I do not want to spend money on that because I'm not supposed to be buying any bags this year. I'm only supposed to buy seven and that is not part of my list of seven, okay? Both that bag and this kind of have the same vibe being that I'm going to use them as shoulder bags and the Peyton Hobo does not come with a crossbody. And like I said, I don't intend to use the Terry as a crossbody. And so I'm like, I'm going to style both of them the same way. So should I get the chalk Peyton Hobo since I don't have a chalk like that? Or should I get it in signature canvas and pink leather, which I don't, I absolutely don't have. I don't have any pink. Okay, I do have the one Kate Spade, pink Kate Spade bag, but I never use that one. So that's the dilemma I'm having. And again, because, and I'm having, and I was having this issue because I have a bag in this colorway already. And it's right here. It is my Serena Satchel in this beautiful shape. Like this is the only bag I have with this shape and style in my collection. But look how similar they are. Like it's practically the same 
colorway the only difference is that this has more black leather whereas the only black leather for this is on the handle but i wear this honestly i wear my serena satchel as a top handle or as a crossbody bag but this will only be shoulder bag i cannot wear my serena satchel as a shoulder bag at all it's not very practical but i love this bag this was my very first coach out their bag purchase and i absolutely love it so it's not going anywhere but look at how similar they are they give me the same vibe so should i keep both they're practically the same color the only thing i love more about this is the black zipper that this has whereas the serena has a brown zipper this has black and i love the fact that it has more black than this one so that is my dilemma guys so i really need your help this is a beautiful bag i love like i 100 if the painting hobo did not exist there's no like it's a no-brainer i'm keeping this bag but because the painting hobo exists and i want it i'm hoping i'll be able to go to the outlet soon to see it and decide but i really really want you guys to help me out should i keep this bag and forget about the painting hobo or is it too similar to this Serena satchel? Um, and if it is, should I return it and pick up the painting hole? And another bag that this is similar to is my Kate Spade Little Better Sam. So same shoulder concept, same under the shoulder concept. Like, so like, it's like, do I need two of these style bags? Like really, do I, do I? What do you guys think? Like, I truly am confused. This is the first unboxing I will ever do where I am confused <laughs> about whether to keep the bag or not. So if you were considering the Terry bag in this colorway or in any colorway at all, this is a beautiful bag. Beautiful. I love it. I love the way it looks. I love the features that are on it. It's very well made. I'm impressed by how well made it is. So I'm very, very happy with this. The only reason I have doubts is because of the Peyton Hobo. So if you were considering getting this bag, I definitely would recommend it. I think it is a beautiful, beautiful, very well made, stunning, classic bag. Classic. This bag will never date because of the shape, because of the colors, because of the style. So what will you guys do? Tell me, should I keep this? Or should I return it and buy the Peyton Hobo? I can only get one. I'm not going to buy two because in case you haven't heard, I'm changing my attitude with handbags this year in 2023. And to hear much more about my handbag attitude this year, you want to click on this video and go watch my 2023 wish list. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in this one. Bye.